Ryan, well, I haven't seen you in a while. This part of that is new? No, nothing's changed since I've been here. I grew up here, but uh, I don't really remember that much about it. I hit my head. It was in an uh, accident. Hey, were you in my hallway? No, sir. I've been here the whole time. Someone was in the hallway? We, no. Uh, I get confused sometimes. I was, uh, this isn't real, is it? What isn't real? I'm not sleeping anymore. I don't remember things sometimes. Would you like a drink? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not allowed. I'm an alcoholic. Well, I guess I was an alcoholic. By the way, I'm not allowed to drink. All right, well, how about some water? I know what's real. They tell me I'm sick and that I'm an alcoholic, and once I get better, I can see her again, but uh, she's, she's, waiting, she's waiting for me to get better. She? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm a child when I'm in this house. I can't do anything. I have two numbers written down, and they're not, they're not people I want to call. And I didn't ever learn any numbers. Or maybe I, I might have just forgot them, I guess. Do you like a refill, Ryan? I drank all that. I don't remember doing that. Um, say, we're in my mind, right? You seem perfectly fine, Ryan. I need to, I need to, I need to sleep. If you can't sleep, you need to come here. I'll come back. Where else am I gonna go anyway? up in this house but I really don't remember that much about it. I know I know I grew up here with my parents and that they uh they died while I was sick. But other than that it's kind of a blur. I know that people think I'm sick and that they think it's my fault. It's her fault. Uh, I remember about every moment I spent with her. Um, she's pretty much the only part of my brain that still kinda you know, uh, works. If I, don't, if I don't get back to her, how am I supposed to get better? 
And where is she now? Waiting for me. Not to be like this. We can find her. No, we can't do anything. We're... Uh, I'm stuck here. Why don't you leave? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, I guess. But you don't want me to leave, do you? Because then you wouldn't have any business. I appreciate it, but there's plenty for me to do down here. I just... I need to focus. I guess I can't... I can't get... I can't get better until I focus on sleeping. And if, and if I, don't, I don't sleep, I'm not gonna get better. Have a drink. It'll help you. I can't. That's not real anyway. I wouldn't leave any of that stuff lying around here for an alcoholic. Risk slowing my recovery. I have it here. Nah, it's not real. Then it can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. No. I guess that's true. But at the same time, um, this is hurting me, you know? Talking to you. What we're doing right now, I mean, you just, you just can't keep doing things that aren't real. Do you want this to be real? I just want to get better. <laughs> I know I'm sick. But if I know I'm sick, then I'm not, I'm not sick the way they think I am. But at the same time, if I'm talking to you, I probably am sick the way they think I am. Who are these people? Doug. Your brother. And Peggy. That dreadful woman next door. Yeah, you know, you know them too? I do. Doug, he was always, um, he was always okay. I was kind of like the problem child. Until I met her. Yes, her. Doug gives me this, this picture book. He says it's from her. And it is, and, and I don't, I mean, there's, there's something I don't get, and it's why, why is he even seeing her, you know? Like, why doesn't she bring it here herself? He is fucking her. You don't, you don't think that. It would seem to be a rational explanation. Why else would you not be able to leave this place, let alone talk to her? He's fucked her. He has had a lot of time to use what has happened to you to gain her sympathy, comfort her. He's a good-looking guy, full of charm, so much like you, except without your flaws. He wouldn't do that! She wouldn't do that! She left you. That's why you drank. Isn't that how you crashed your car? She's the reason you're here. She didn't, she didn't leave me. She loves me. Why are they even talking to me? This isn't even real. Where are you right now, Ryan? I'm with you. And I'm the only one who can help you. They want to keep you sick. You don't need a thermometer to know you're sick. And we certainly don't need Doug. What will I do? I'll take care of Doug. What about, what about her? Oh yes, her. You know, I'd love to meet her. Hey, you the devil. Ryan, I thought we were done with the make-believe. I am trying to help you. I'll do whatever you say. Hey, Doug. Douglas. Hey, Peggy. How's it going? I almost had to call the cops. Why? Because he was in there screaming at 3 a.m. Screaming? How, how, like, screaming how? Well, I was taking the dog out, and I could see every light on in the middle of the night. So I go over to see what's going on, 
And he's in there screaming. Just screaming like he was in pain? Well, he was talking to someone. Who was he talking to? Well, I couldn't see him, but he was over there screaming and breaking stuff. I almost had to call the cops. Well, thank you for not calling the cops, but um, I'll go in and I'll talk to him and I'll make sure everything's okay. This is a nice neighborhood, Douglas. We can't have somebody like him making the community nervous. What does that mean, someone like him? I just mean he's sick. Yeah, he's getting better. Piggy, that's the point of all this. It's part of his recovery. And I, I appreciate everything you're doing for us. I really do. Getting him the groceries, keeping an eye on him. But I really hope that you're not out here spreading rumors about my brother. I don't gossip. If people know what's going on around here, it's because they have eyes. Now, I cared about your mother. And it's a shame what happened to her and you boys. And everybody around here remembers that. They just don't want to be afraid for their kids that he's going to end up like... What? Fuck the neighbors, all right? If they want to protect their kids, they can worry about them instead of my brother. Now look, Doug, I'm only telling you so you're prepared to make a change in case it's necessary. Okay, okay, that's fine. But Peggy, can you can you just do me one favor? If if he's if he's making noise or if he's if he's scaring you or anything like that, just don't call the police, okay? Call me. All right, I don't care what time it is, just call me and I'll come out, all right? Uh, you, we don't need a, a bunch of cop cars out here, right? All right, I'll call you first. I'm only concerned about him, Doug. Most sick people are in hospitals, you know? That's what the tools we have to do. This is the doctors. They said this is what we have to do. It's part of his recovery. You know, he's getting better. I mean, he's sick. He's been through a lot, you know, it's been a lot. I just always felt wrong about him. He was always so quiet, never moved fast. Kids move fast, that's what they do. Yeah, well, he was sick. I don't believe in all that therapy shit. Some people just don't know how to behave. Some people just aren't right. It was nice talking to you, Peggy. Good day. When did the doctor say he's going to get better, Douglas? They don't know, but he'll get better. Huh. That's what they said about his father. Ryan! 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 Ryan. Hey man, what are you, what are you doing on the floor? Don't you hear me calling you? Why are you here, Doug? I came by to see you. Are you alone? Yeah. You know, it's filthy in here, man. You know, trash goes in trash cans and food goes in the refrigerator. You came to see me? You had to see me. I wanted to come see you. I wanted to see how you were doing. I'm worried about you. You're not calling, you don't answer. I can't use the phone. Okay, I, I didn't know that. It's your rule. That's my rule. Yeah, I can't, uh, I can't leave, talk on the phone, or see her, but you can. What, do, do you want to go? Where do you want to go? You want to go somewhere? Come on, I'll take you where you want to go. Let's leave. It's fine. I can stay here. I don't need you pretending to help me anymore, and like, Helping me along, we're fine without you. Ryan, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you fucking her? What? We know you have. We know what you did to me, the ghost in the hall. Ryan, there's lucid dreams. They said that those dreams, they might feel real. I haven't slept since I've been here. Who, who, who is in the hall? I remember, Doug. 
Remember what you did. Remember the ghost in the hall. Remember all of it. Ryan, the doctors, they said that there could be memories and dreams, these things, that they're not real. It's just a side effect of the accident. Just a dream? A little boy, a lady in the bath. I remember all that. Who, who, who was here? Here? Yeah, he, Peggy, Peggy said you were talking to somebody. She said you were in here screaming. Peggy should really mind her own fucking business. Who are you with? Doug, I don't want you here. I've got lots of things I've got to do. Ryan, I'm, I'm your brother, all right? I, I want to help you. I'm worried about you. You're not my brother. I'm not your brother. I don't, I don't love you anymore. I don't even like you. I hate you. I never want to see you again. Yeah, that, that's okay, because the doctors, they also said that you might say something like that, you know, hurtful things, and you don't mean it. I can convince myself you're not real. You know I can do that. I, I just want you to not be here anymore. Um, Catherine said that uh, if you don't want that book, that she would like it back. I, I don't want that. Okay, well, where is it? In the basement. In the basement? Mm -hmm. no. Ryan, this is mom and dad's house. We... There is no basement. It's right, right there. Right there. Uh -huh. Right here. This, this is the basement. That's where the basement is. Ron, just, you know what, man? Just keep it, because if I tell her that, she, that you didn't want it, she's just gonna get really upset. I, I don't know what to tell you, man. She wants to see you. She misses you, she, she cares about you. We all do, it's just, we're doing what they told us to do. Doug, Doug, don't, uh, don't come back, all right? And please make sure that, uh, that she doesn't come back here either. Yeah, man. I won't be back. But I can't control what she does. It's not real!
remember you? you. Good to see you again. Where were you? Waiting for you. Doug was here. I told... Why weren't you here? I thought I could count on you, man. You understood the plan, Ryan, and you let him get away. Luckily for us, he wasn't the one we needed. Don't act like you didn't know what you were doing. I will leave you here, Ryan, and then what? Then what can you do? So sorry, I thought... I thought I understood the plan, but Doug, Doug came, and Doug came here, and we couldn't see the place, and I couldn't see it either. We, why wasn't the basement here? How does the place disappear like that? It has nothing to do with Doug. You can't change the blueprints and expect things to look the same way. I, I, I need to call Doug. I was so. I'm, I just this isn't even real. Why am I talking to you? This isn't real. Give me your hands. People are right about me, you know. I'm fucking I'm so fucking sick. nephew? I don't know if you remember me. I'm here to cut the grass. The grass? Yeah. Uh, your brother asked me to take care of it until you get better. Is it long? Yeah, it's it's real long in the back, uh, but I have a whacker. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, let me get you some money. Uh, no. It, it, it's not... It's not necessary. Yeah, man, your brother has it covered. My brother? Yeah, well, what, what happened to your hand? Do you want Peggy to call your brother? Hey, can you? Can you do something for me? I mean, I'm not a doctor, man. No, I just... I need you to give me something.
What are you doing? Everything okay? Do I look bad? <laughs> no. Uh. No, you're fine. I think I'm. I think I'm tired. Oh. I was hoping we'd stay up a while. You know, as fun as that sounds, um. I just say I was tired, you know, and you know how I get <laughs> when I'm tired. That's fine. I don't really need you conscious. <laughs> wow. Just like our first time, you're just still continuing with this frat boy mentality. <laughs> Best sex we ever had. <laughs> yeah. So, what's it? You gotta have... You know, you've had three kids by now. Mm -hmm. you, look, you, you look pretty good for somebody that's, you know, been through what your body's been through. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be adorable. Yeah, they probably would. You know, Catherine, I really, uh, I really miss you. Yeah. I miss you too. I'm so sorry about what I did to you. Don't be sorry, Ryan. It's not your fault. I couldn't keep waiting for you to get better, and I know it's not fair, it's not. But I didn't really know how to fix it. It's okay. I didn't expect you to stay around as long as you did. Nobody else would have done that. Before I met you, I thought I was losing my mind. And you helped a lot. I, I was happy with you, and I don't know that I was helping you. You're the only part of my memory that works. I, I got your, your picture book that you wanted me to get, it was cool. <laughs> it's a scrapbook, you tarred. <laughs> well. I don't know if I'm any critic, but I thought it was pretty good. I didn't think you liked taking pictures with me, so I was a little surprised. I just kind of hated myself in every picture. Come on. You gotta admit the one of us at Ocean City was like phenomenal. Maybe best couple photo like ever. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That's the worst. I didn't even know you were taking the picture. You pretty much only soaked my nostrils. Fucking music festivals, huh? I'm sick, aren't I? I just think it's time for you to let go. I can't let go of you. I'm not real anymore, Ryan. I know. I know that. I just... Can you stay with me for for tonight? Just sleep with me? You know, just, I, just, just, just for tonight. I'll stay. As long as I can. I promise you. Catherine! How many times would you say you've passed out in a bar? Cat Catherine's in the house. Ryan, you look like you've seen a ghost. It's, it's not possible. I am growing very impatient with your attitude, Ryan. Was I was I asleep? Was I was sleeping here? Have I been asleep? Did I, have I even woken up since the accident? Do you remember waking up? I remember the people in the hallway. I remember 
Catherine, and I remember I'm sick, and I'm supposed to be getting better, and I'm an alcoholic. Have a drink, Ron. What is this? It's gin. It's what you usually get. I feel nice to feel a little normal again. Another? That's, that doesn't feel right. Well, perhaps you have to give it a minute. I'm, a, I'm an alcoholic. And I crashed my car. I mean, I was in a... I was, in a, I was in a coma? Yes. Doesn't make sense. I don't I don't think I, I don't think I drink. Denial? Uh, I mean, this is what you gave me is real, but you're not you're not real. You how are you doing this? You cut my hand. I should I should go. Sit down, Ryan. Catherine's, she's gone. Is she? You, you know that. You've known that. Why, I mean, why do you keep doing this? You should, you should keep making me do bad shit that I don't want to do. I am not making you do anything. I am trying to help you accept what has happened. What's, what's happened? What have I done? You remember your accident? Well, I hurt my head. Where? Where did you hurt your head? Was anything else hurt? I don't, I don't know. I was drunk. Real nasty accident. You don't have a single scar. Was anyone else hurt? No. I was, I was, no. I was, I was, I was drunk and I crashed and that's it. You remember that or you were told that? You were drunk? You just told me you don't drink. I don't, I don't, I don't think I... I've never drank. Where was Catherine when you crashed? You two were an item. Lovers. Where was she? She, she? she was at home. Was she in the car? No, I was definitely alone. How do you know you were alone? Because that's what, that's what, that's what they told me. You seem to be letting these people think of your memories for you. She couldn't have been with me. Why? Why not? Because she left me. Because she didn't love me anymore. She wouldn't have been, she wouldn't have been with me. And? and? Because there was no, there wasn't any car accident. She couldn't have been with me because she'd left me. Because there wasn't any car accident to be in. Then what are you doing here? I was supposed to be getting better. I was supposed to be trying to sleep, but I'm, af I'm afraid to sleep because if I fall asleep, I'm afraid that I won't wake back up. Let yourself go, Ryan. It's what's best for both of us. It wasn't any getting better. I remember it. The people in the hall, the woman in the bath. I remember. Who are they? They're just, they're ghosts. Look at the man in the hall, Ryan. It's okay, buddy. It's just a dream, go back to sleep. My, my, fa my father was a, he was a good man. He died while I was sick. Do you remember your parents? Doug was just playing a trick on me. He was trying to scare me. It was a prank. Your mother was the one in the bath. No, Catherine's in the bath. What, what did I do? I'm really sorry, Ryan. But it's time to go back to sleep. I remember why I'm here now. 
Hey, were you in my hallway? Who, who was here? Look at the man in the hall, Ryan. That's what they said about his father. Tell me I'm sick and that I'm an alcoholic. And once I get better, I can see her again. Ryan. Ryan. I remember you.